Make your way inside. Security is tight, so stay frosty. The vault sits between the ground and upper floors Pay according to the to plans we stole. Yeah. To get to the upper floor, you'll need a high security key card. Somebody here is sure to have one of those. Why don't you check one of the computers in the human resources department? I'm telling you, you need to try it. You'll thank me later. Employees notice the hack running in the server room. They could get suspicious. Watch out! security protocols. Head over to the IT office and confirm access through one of their computers. Then hook me back in. Excuse me. Upgraded. Well, I have four possible codes, but only one of them is the right one. See if you can figure out which one it is. You got it. There are two layers of security for the vault. A dual security lock and lasers. Let's take care of the lasers first. Check the control box. There are a number of electrical boxes powering those lasers. Find them and disable the switches. The right switches. It seems like the wiring logic changed. Keep an eye open and make sure you get the right switches. Yo. Search the upper floor. All right, now. 
Now switch off the lasers. Hey! Great. That takes care of that. All right. Next up, you'll need a blue key card to unlock the vault. And also, you need to send a remote activation signal from the manager's computer. As soon as you send the activation signal from the manager's office, you have a small window of time to unlock the vault with a blue key card. So maybe get the key card first. Pay attention to where you're going.
two bags. Four bags and counting. There's a guard. You can't be in here. This area is restricted. It's a guard. Sharp will have an aneurysm when she realizes who cleaned her out.